Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be putting some more lead in doors onto an old style Billy bookcase. Uh, we do have to do some, a little bit of modifications on this, which is what I'm gonna take you through. Um, I also wanted to point out before we get into the video that uh, my channel is getting about halfway to the point where I could be able to monetize these videos and would be really appreciate it if you'd hit that subscribe button. If you had learned something or you've joined any part of my video, I would really appreciate it. Um, we have about 800 subscribers to go, but we've reached it on the uh, watch time that we need. So hit that subscribe button and uh, let's get into the video. I've purchased a pair of Morlid Indoors from Ikea to add to my old style Billy bookcase and uh, give it a little update. Now, taking a look at the box, it says do not open up with a knife. So what are we gonna do? Let's open it with a knife. If you do open it with a knife, just make sure that uh, you're careful so that you don't cut uh, the cardboard insert that the uh, Morlet Indoor uh, comes with. Now, here are some of our instructions, our usual paperwork we get with these things, and uh, here is also the door assembly. Um, one box only contains one door in it, so you'll have to buy two for one Billy bookcase. Here's our hardware pack here, and the door assembly itself. Now, don't get worried that it's black facing out. You can, this is reversible. And uh, I'll show you that a little bit later. Opening up our hardware pack here, we can see everything that comes with the one side of the door. So you've got your hinges, you've got your pieces that go on the billy, the handle, the wall mount, and also the little plastic pegs that'll hold the insert in. And don't forget the little gel stickers here that help for a softer close. In this instruction booklet, it shows that you need a couple screwdrivers, a punch, and a tape measure. So it's gonna be doing it a little bit differently. We're gonna need a drill as well, um, and I'll show you that. So I've got a couple tools here. A ratcheting screwdriver really helps. Also a, a bit kit that uh, comes with a little ratchet, very useful. Now, taking a look at the Billy bookcase here, you notice that uh, the holes only go about two thirds of the way down, um, whereas a new style Billy Good bookcase has holes that go all the way up to the top. And this is a problem when you're putting the Morlet indoors onto a old style bookcase. So you'll have to drill your own holes, unfortunately, so that it'll fit. Now, if you're thinking I can just use the pre-existing holes, uh, they also make it difficult because the holes are also a different size. So the screws that come with do not work. So we'll use this space up here to then drill uh, some new holes for us to use. If you have an electric drill and a set of drill bits, this is actually a really easy process. So what we'll do is we'll just measure the distance between the, hole, the current holes, which uh, by the way, I tested on a new Billy bookcase. It's the same distance, about an inch and a half. And we will pick a spot where we like the, the hinge to be up here. And then we'll just make a hole that is inch and a half away in that general direction. Now that we have that hole, we can take the, the hinge piece here, put it over that portion, and then keep it as straight as possible and make another, another little mark down below. Now that we have our two holes here, we'll do the same thing on the other side to make sure that we have it even, just measure what your holes were on that other side. Now it's time to drill the hole. Now using your drill bit set, just uh, put it up to the screw right here to find a drill bit that is just slightly smaller than the diameter of the screw. This is gonna allow the screw to have a little bit of bite once you screw it in to, to hold things into place. We only want to go in about that far, about halfway through the side. Now that we have our holes drilled, we can take that hinge piece and screw it into the holes we had made. 
Now you do the same thing for the other side here, um, making sure not to drill all the way through. And using the measurements from the other side, you can mirror that. Now I've made my marks for the bottom portion here, and it's the same process. Now that we have all of the hinge pieces on the bookcase side installed onto the shelf, now it's time to start mounting the, the actual glass door. Now notice that the frame of the Morladen door is, does not have a specific spot for the hinge to go, which is good for us because we're making our own placement of this. So the hinge right here rides on that little inside portion there to where you can slide it up or down and it just hooks into the side of the door just like this to where it sort of clips in as you get into the door. There you go. And now from here we can slide it up and down and put it into the portion of where it's going to align into the where we put the other piece on the other side of the bookcase. Now that you've got both hinge pieces into the Morladen door, you can move, hold the door up to the bookcase and start the alignment process. Now, once you find a good spot where the door will sit, slide the hinge assembly to where it needs to go, and then tighten the two screws right here to hold it into place. Now these hinge pieces are actually really easy to click together, but um, the, they may seem a little tricky at first. I've got the top one in here right now just to hold the door up, but I'm gonna show you on this bottom piece the way that this goes in. Now, you've got a little adjustable piece right here that if you need if you need to move it in or out, so just by loosening that screw, but take a look at this hook right here. That hook is going to go into this portion right there, and then you're gonna press the other end into that little square hole right there, and it's gonna click into place. So the hook first on the back and then press it into place into that square. Now I've clicked it into place. I have a good distance between the door and the bookcase and I've tightened that adjustment screw and looks like everything is pretty solid. Now we'll do a quick open and shut test to make sure it open and closes all right, which looks like it does. And then now we can move to getting the insert in. And like I said before, this, this is reversible, so if you want the black facing out, you can do that, but I'm gonna put it white facing out on this one. Just slide it into place there. It should hold itself up a little bit, just enough to get these plastic locking pins in to hold it into the place. To get these in, you use the yellow, little arrow indicator to face towards the cardboard, and then turn it right 90 degrees, and then it'll lock into place. Here's the little plastic piece in. You can see that the arrow is facing left now, now that we've turned it 90 degrees, and then it holds it into place. Do that same process evenly around all sides of the door to hold the insert in place. And there you have it. You have the white facing out, and since it's glass on the outside, it looks pretty good. It doesn't look like cardboard. Now we install the handle. Um, just locks into the side of the door here. Um, I'm putting it dead center, but you can certainly put this at any point on the door that you like. And that does it for this first side. Now you can do the same procedure on the other side. Once that's done, then you have both doors on here. You may notice that you have a gap here in the center. Don't worry, you can adjust this. If you go to the hinges, there is one screw that we didn't mention which is right here. This screw right here will allow you to adjust that side to side and you can bring the doors in closer to each other. Once you've made that adjustment and brought them closer together, it is complete. And now you can just put those little gel stickers on the bookcase side so you can have a softer close. Um, also, I do recommend that you attach this to the wall because now this thing's a little top heavy. And with that, thank you so much and have a great day.